This is a dairy farm. I don't know what I was picturing when I learned that I'd be visiting some dairy farms, but this is it. This is what a dairy farm looks like. There are thousands of these family-run operations all across our nation, and this is what's feeding America. My name is Courtney Guerra, and I know a thing or two about farming. I'm a vegetable farmer, but I do not know a lot about dairy farming. I'm gonna meet Joy Weiderman. Joy and her family have been running Jebel Holstein Farms in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, and they've been doing it for generations. What's so cool about this farm is that it's a part of the farmer-owned cooperative that is Lando Lakes. I had no idea. So cool. So let's go find Joy and see what's happening on our farm. Hey, Joy. Hi, Courtney. Nice, nice to, to finally meet you. Meet you. Yeah. Thanks so much for showing me around today. Yeah, looking forward to it. Tell me a little bit about the farm in general. We do come from a long line of farmers, yeah. kind of born into us. I knew from a very little girl this is where my heart lied. I very much so had a passion for the cows from a very young age. And here I am 41 years later, and I'm still every bit as passionate about what I do. My kids would probably tell you that I know the cows better than I do them. <laughs> this is Grace. Grace is just very friendly. Joy is so nurturing with these cows. I mean, you can almost tell she's a mama herself. It's more than a business. We truly love taking care of the cows. Everything we do is based around their happiness and how we can better take care of them. Jova Holstein Farm is a family operation. My parents moved here in 1970 to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Over the years, they gradually grew the farm so that we could all become a part of it. My siblings and I, we all work together here, taking care of the cows and taking care of the land. So it's pretty awesome here that everybody that's a part of the family kind of wants to be here, helping to feed other families. That special feeling to know that they were part of something so much bigger. Walking around this farm with Joy is pretty funny because everywhere we go, there's another family member that pops up, you know? It's like, oh, there's my son and he's driving up. I'm JT, Courtney. this is Courtney. Hi. Nice to meet you. There's my dad. There's my brother. We are putting the people in positions to get the job done right. Somebody asked me yesterday when I started farming, I said I started when I was five years old. <laughs> there's my niece. This is where I always wanted to be. Jocelyn's been here since she's a little girl. <laughs> That's so. great. It's not only the connection that she has with the animals, but it's also the relationship that she has with her family. One of my favorite things that we do is school tour. My sister Jenny organizes the tours. I love watching the kids' faces when they get to pet that calf or when a calf sucks their fingers for the first time. That's really funny. Right now, the kids are going upstairs to watch the cows be milked. Why do you guys have them come over to the farm? pretty important to educate. So many kids, they think their milk comes from a grocery store. They right. don't understand that there is a whole story that got it there. I think this is kind of what's missing with our food system, is this component of education, this hands-on going to the farm. If I meet a family that has never been on the farm, or maybe I hear them say something that they maybe don't understand, I'll say, hey, why don't you come to my house for dinner and I'll give you a farm tour. I think that's the only way we can truly bridge that gap. We need to educate and let them know what this is about and why we're truly doing what we're doing. Each of you is going to get one of these containers, and in the container is heavy whipping cream. You are going to take turns with your partner, shaking it really hard, and it will turn into butter. One of the things I love most about being an educator is getting to see these moments of connection. So starting off with a heavy cream, doing their work, shaking it, getting all those wiggles out. And then they open the container and they discover it's a whole new product, it's a whole new thing. Yeah. This is a finished product. This is something that literally you would find on the table. I think this whole progression that you guys are teaching here is really, really cool. They want people to know that there are faces behind the food, that there are these hidden faces that are showing up at 4 a.m. every day, rain or shine. I just feel so touched. The fact that Joy is so warm and inviting and she opened up her family's farm and brought me in and took time out of her day. And getting to see Jen with the kids, taking him through a field trip, a day on the farm. It's hard work being a farmer. You've been an awesome host, so let me feed you. Is that cool? That would be awesome. Any opportunity I don't have to cook, <laughs> I am 100% for it. I love to cook. For me, where it really comes from is a place of love and of gratitude. 
and everything I touch and every movement, it's a meditation on love. And to feed somebody, the act of feeding somebody is so intimate. And to be able to do that, to be able to feed Joy and her family is the ultimate side of gratitude for me. I feel like I'm kind of part of the family now. I spent the whole day with them, I've gotten to know them, and they're just the kindest people. And to be able to cook for them feels great. Yeah. Sliders are ready. You guys have been waiting so patiently. We even got rained on a little bit, so I appreciate you guys just being here. Joy, thank you so much for showing me around. Thank and you for coming. Yeah, it was just beautiful. You have a wonderful family, and I had an awesome time. Thank you. Yes, we enjoyed it. All right, dig in, guys. I'm hoping when people hear my story, they know that their food is coming from people that truly love not only the animals that we work with and the land that we're taking care of, but we love knowing that we are taking care of them. If you can be passionate about what you do, you can be excited about getting up every day, going to work, and coming home and feeling satisfaction that you are giving the best you can, you are caring for animals, you are putting a quality product out into the world, and you're feeding America.